I was speaking in Cambodia working with Alcatel Lucent. And what they had done is they took their 100 top leaders from around Southeast Asia uh, to Phnom Penh and, and said, hey, let's not worry about our plunging stock prices, but let's really take a look at what's important in the world. And so they did a, a senior leadership retreat. And two of those days, one day was spent in the killing fields in Cambodia. And the other day was spent building houses with an organization called Tabitha, where at the end of the day, uh, the hundred or so of us had a chance to see what we had built and then invite those people that were going to be moving into these, really these little shacks, um, uh, to get a chance to meet them and spend some time with them. And I, you know, you ran into some of the poverty in Southeast Asia before, and, and I knew there was a big need, but that was really, that was the day that I'm like, wow, I just, you know, they are so grateful for moving from the side of the river, basically, into these little shacks, um, and that's a step up. And, and then about that same time, Janice Stanfield, who's my co-founder of Together We Can Change the World, had also some, uh, she, she had already done these what she called volunteer trips um volun so they're volunteerists in in southeast asia where she had a, a some girls orphanages in bali that she was supporting uh, but then she had some more uh, revelations in in southeast asia and she also spends a lot of time there and we said you know what we should do we should take a group of speakers over to southeast asia on a speaking tour as well as uh, philanthropy type mission and we did we had six on our very first uh, first mission in 2008 so we've been up and running for 10 years now and it was so impactful and so moving that we said hey we're on to something here let's uh, let's create an organization around this